Okay then, beautiful people. Um, where should we start? Uh, let's start at the beginning, shall we? Um, Sibionensis has been repotted. Is it light enough in here for you? Um, I don't know if I can put, uh, let's see if I can crank the brightness up a little. How's that? Uh, yeah, Sibionensis um, was pot bound, believe it or not. It was in a little pot over the other side there and uh, she was looking a little, a little pot bound. So we've got her out and uh, give her a new home. Nice deep pot. And I've decided to hang her over here. She has got a new picture on the way. Let's see if we can get it around here. I'll just show you. There you go. Just about to pop. So. Resist, resist the temptation to help it. I know people do. I have done it myself. This is the old one. Uh, Sibionensis, always a firm favourite. So, what I'm going to do is because I can't get in here with all these hanging up, I'm going to lift that up and drop it down here. And I'm also going to move uh, good old AMA come BE Maxima. Uh, these, I don't know if I've said before, these were sold as. Uh, as they may, and unfortunately, they all turned out to be Maxima. But at the end of the day, AMA is Maxima, it's just a posh Maxima, so it doesn't really make a lot of difference. Um, okay, so what we've got in here, right? Uh, Tivier Maxima Wavy Cross Vichoy. Um, that since I repotted it, that is really taking off. We've got a completely stripeless picture. Oh, that's Betty Bryce. What's going on there? Uh, completely stripeless picture. I do like that. The pure green. And its predecessor was stripeless as well. So I think it's safe to say that that is going to be non striped. But I don't mind that. I do like a. Uh, I do like a pure green. I think I've turned the brightness up too much now. Let me just knock it back a bit. There we go. I do like a pure green uh, peristone. Uh, yeah, okay. Roger Rob. Rob Roger is currently working on a new picture just there. And the other one. Uh, which has been on here for a few weeks now. Um, looking pretty good. They age well, they age really well. Quite impressed with that. Uh, uh, Ventricosa Ventricos Magia As, Magia As, Magia A S B E uh, 3278. This plant, for whatever reason, just decided to. Uh, it just wasn't going anywhere and then it popped out this basil so uh, <coughs> the main the main vine's been took off um turned into a cutting um we'll we'll try again with the basil see uh see what difference that makes I'll just pop that over there um the Pemphys predator cross low eye uh this is i believe female yeah um, quite a rare plant, I'm led to believe. Um, it's not done much for me at the moment. Very strange leaves, um, I must say. Uh, no lower eye in there at all in the leaves. Um, more than mortar, if anything. But we'll see, we'll see what it does. Next to it, we've got the trunk harter which is working on a big old picture down here. Hopefully that's going to be a whopper. Uh, the one before it, the one that was just put out, I don't know if you saw this on the last video, I think it was just working on it on the last video, um, is a beaut. 
Let's move, uh, move Rob Roger out of the way. There you go. Yeah. I think this uh, this has got a lot of promise. I think it's going to be a nice nice plant. Um, quite happy with that. I need to put a lot of growth on as well at the moment. Uh, new addition up the corner, Nepenthes Mixta. Uh, this is an old Victorian cross. Um, picked this up off eBay for 40 quid. Uh, it's a lot of plant for 40 quid, but uh, I don't think it's had the best of lives, if I'm honest. <coughs> it, uh, it looks a bit tatty. Um, and the the growth point on it or growth tip is absolutely minuscule so i don't think it had the best of light and i don't think it had the best of lives so we'll see how that goes anyway um if it struggles i think i'll end up chopping it and uh, making a, a tip cutting or we'll see what happens see how it goes uh what's next little roger that's coming along beautifully. Really, uh, really getting his feet down. This is potted in pure laterite, which is the soil um, endemic to the Philippines. Um, rich in iron. And this is the kind of stuff that uh, Atamburii, Raja, Argentii, they all love laterite. And I'll tell you now the difference, because um, people have asked me about my potting mediums. I use predominantly Akadama, Kanuma, and Pumice uh, in equal parts. Uh, fantastic medium, absolutely fantastic. The weight of this pot, I mean, this pot is dry, and this, this pot must weigh probably as much as a bag of sugar. It's a three inch pot. And it is so heavy. Uh, pure laterite is just really, really heavy. Um, very strange stuff. I don't know if you can see it there. Very red. It's got like a, an orange tinge to it as well. But that is pure laterite. Um, Truncata I've got in. It's in Akadama and uh, Kanuma. And it grows. They like Akadama Kanuma grows really well in that. Um, the uh, Spatulata Eddy, that's in pure moss with a bit of perlite. And she's off to the races. There's no issues there at all. Uh, okay, what else we got? What else we got? Let's have a look here. Let's dig in. We've got lots to do, so let's move on. Uh, ah, okay. Um, Glandulifera Rob, let's put out a new picture. The size of that beast. Really happy with that. Get her in the light. It's a proper chunk of that one. And it's really woody. Um, quite a quite a stiff picture. Let's move you along because we're gonna have to make some room up here in a minute. <coughs> uh, this is a new addition. Uh, Sibirensis spectabilis. Unfortunately, I've just cut the old picture off. Um, and it was an awesome picture. I'll see if I can uh, stick a picture in here and show you uh, what that looked like. But it is a oh, what a plant! It's like uh, it's like a large hamata crossed with Northiana. That's what I thought anyway when I saw it. So. Uh, what else we got? Ah, Alyssa Petrana is working on its first real proper picture since I've had it. Uh, this was the last picture. Typical uh, Alyssa Petrana shape. A little bit uh, laid back with the Babidje uh, influence. But 
this one has got some fantastic stripes. Now, there's a lot of Babidier in that one. Have his all. Uh, it is a seed grown, so obviously the uh, the variation in pictures is going to be different from picture to picture. So uh, be interesting to see what that looks like when it's uh, when it's fully inflated and it's open. I'll keep you posted on that one. Let's just move it across. Uh, the back here, just at the back. I don't know if you can see. Hang on, let me zoom in. Faisal Leona is working on a picture at the back there. First one. Looking forward to seeing what that looks like. And uh, what have we got? Oh yeah, um, Bosiana Densiflora Avata. Let me zoom back in. Um, still holding on to that picture. It's been on there for a good while, but it's also working on another one. Beautiful. And, oh, drum roll, drum roll. The Wistaba. Sibionensis Vichai Loeoi. Look at that pudding. It's like a little potato. Wait till that opens. The suspense is killing me. Um, I really do love the pictures on this plant. And uh, trust me, as soon as it opens, I'll, uh, I'll post a video short so you can see what it looks like. Fantastic plant. Absolutely awesome. Uh, Ventricosa hamata is probably a bit of a weird one out. Very veiny. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to have to move you across because you're in the way. I've run out of room now and I'm, uh, it's all hanging space now. Oh, here we go. Um, Platycoil has brought a new one for us. Look at that. Ain't that a thing? I do love Platycoil. Such a beautiful plant. Those stripes. Amazing. And this is really, really starting to bang out some leaf jumps now. This is the uh, this is the second consecutive leaf jump. It's really going for it. The secret sauce. It's working. Uh, same as this, Bosciana platy uh, Bosciana platy cross. New picture, and this thing, again, second consecutive leaf jump. This thing was tiny when I got it a few months ago, about two three months ago absolutely tiny and uh, it had thrips actually when I got it so it didn't have the best start in life and look at it now it's absolutely loving life um, living its best life as they say okay let's move across to uh, what people want to see these are all or majority of these are all the B imports um, They've been in my care now since uh, November, mid-November, I'd say, I'd say, mid to late November, I'm going to say. Um, some had got cold damage, uh, a lot of them were minus pictures. And so we are, we're just starting to hit the ground running now. So things are starting to pick up. Um, we'll start at the back with the VGIs. The two VGIs, the labels are crap, I've ripped them out in permanent ink and they've just faded under the lights, so I've got to do them again. But I have got a nice new label maker, as you can see there, that I've been uh, messing around with. So, uh, yeah, the two VGI have finally found the legs and uh, they're putting up new leaves now. Single owner, Babedi, putting out a new picture for us. Still, still looks a bit sickly, but uh, it's getting there. Um, somebody asked me in the comments on the last video about um, Sibionensis atemburii. Uh, here it is. I love this plant. Those leaves are to die for. Look at those. Fantastic leaves. So she's really getting the move on now. That second leaf. 
Uh, second leaf in mock here, I believe. No, yeah, no, it might be the third actually. And there's a picture down there. No, it's the second leaf, sorry. Second leaf in mock here, picture down there. So she's really coming along. Uh, Hamata Vichoy, focus. Hamata Vichoy is doing well. Um, not particularly toothy yet, really, as I'd, I'd say toothy. It's, it's, it's getting there. It's uh, nothing to write home about yet, though. But it's uh, it's growing. That's all we need. Uh, what else we got? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Don't need to look at the plugs. Edit that out. Uh, Raja Pultata. Purple, lovely and purple. The Vata is getting uh, getting a move on. Uh, Pultata Vichoi Lowioi. Well planned. Look at the peristome on that. Gorgeous. Um, for some reason, this doesn't want to focus. Let me try taking the zoom out of it a little and just moving in a bit. No, that ain't going to work. Okay, we'll zoom in and just move back a bit. There you go. Trying to overreach, that's what it is. Yeah, great plant. Um, so great. It didn't skip a beat. It got here, bang, put out another picture straight away. And it's not missed a beat since, uh, since it got here. Just growing like nothing's happened. Uh, Maxima Bosciana, nothing really special about it at the moment. Uh, Vigeli Ventricosa, I've, I've got a feeling that one's got some promise. Um, Vichioi Lowioi uh, Babigiae, Edwardiana. This looks promising. Um, this does look promising. Uh, a bit the teeth are there and some striping but I think it just needs a little bit more time hit it destroyed and away we go uh, Extras Mariensis Rob Cantioi working on his second leaf and I'm right next to it okay this is the BE um, Sibionensis Vichai Lowioi this is the BE version of it and don't forget we've got the Wistaba version of it over there look at the difference in that to that you won't believe they were same same plants <coughs> but they are excuse me <coughs> so uh, we'll see we'll see when that one happens when that one opens see what uh, it looks like uh, next to that, we've got uh, Extrasmariensis uh, Aristolacoides. Working on a couple of pictures, that one is. Uh, this is Vigelii. Sorry, I keep forgetting to look at the screen and uh, I'm looking at the plants. Uh, yeah, this is Vigelii. It's just putting out a new one. I do love Vigelii. Can't wait for the uppers on this. Great plant. Okay, so here we've got uh, Velosa VGI 4606, and right next to it we've got Velosa VGI 4606, same plant, look at the difference, yep, yep, explain that, same plant, same clone, look nothing alike. Weird. Next to that, we've got uh, 4605, which is the striped Velosa VGI. And then we've got um, Extraordinary Extrasmardi, uh, X Trismardiensis Rob Cantley. Uh, getting on with it. Where else are we going? Extras Babigie. That should be uh, that should be nice when it's bigger. Um, Ah, let me come around here and show you this. Check out this tenuous. That is full of promise. That's a Flava spatulata next to it. Flava spath. Nice little plant. 
cracking old pictures. But this tenuous, wow, look at that. Full of promise, as they say. Uh, Jim Namphora. And then we've got uh, a Roger Platy. Getting back to the front. Another Roger Piltata. Well, that's one of three I've got, I think. Um, Hamata Lawioi. Uh, he's just proud his first picture for us there. Nothing special at the moment. Um, it's, not, it's not really toothy at the moment, but we'll see. Uh, and another Faisal Leona here is uh, working on a picture there. So that's two Faisal Leonas we've got. They're busy. Uh, Mollis, that's the BE Mollis. Uh, right in front of it, we've got the CK Mollis, which has just put out a little baby picture. Look at that, ain't that pretty? Excuse me for shaking around. Gorgeous. Mm. So, um, Rob Cantioi, doing really well at the front there, front and centre. Ah, this is what I wanted to show you. Check out the label. Peltata, Edwardiana, first picture. There she is. Why is it? I can't get this to focus properly. Oh, there you go. Let's hit the brightness, see if that does anything. Tell you what, let's be a little brave here. Let's uh, let's remove Rob, put him over there, and then let's pick this up, move over here under the lights. Oh, under some more lights. <laughs> Focus. There we go. Look at that. Now that's a bit. Uh, that's a bit special. Lots of promise with that one. Don't forget, it's a small picture. Cool. Okay, let's just pop this back. And uh, zoom back out. Uh, Vichoy. Uh, Marud. Cross candy. For a nice, uh, nice picture. We've got a few stripes there, so that's promising. The actual candy candy, which in I think believe 90% of cases or 80% of cases is on striped, but I do love a VHR with a green peristone. Um, I just I just I just dig them. So uh, Spatulata spectabilis. This is an old clone. It's not to uh, be his latest, I prefer this one. Um, a bit chunkier. Cracking, uh, cracking flower there. Or plant rather. Um, the wall, I can't walk past without mentioning the wall. Look at this. Okay, so from left to right, and I haven't planned any of these. I haven't put these in that particular place. Um, this is the way they've grown. 100% official, uh, no Ollie Barley, feet off the floor, um, no loy. Uh, from left to right, we've got Maxima, and then we've got uh, Spathulata Jacqueline, and then we've got Flava Sib, uh, a cross by Matt Richardson, and then we've got Maxima again, and then we've got uh, Spath Jack again. And then we've got Flava Sib again. And then above it, right above it, we've got Maxima again. And then uh, in amongst all this lot, we've got more Flava Sibs. And move the Spanish Moss. We've got another Flava Sib there. And we've got more Flava Sibs. I think there is another Spath Jack somewhere. Um, I don't know. Uh, oh, and the uh, Maxima flowers are just starting to pop open and they are shedding pollen as we speak. So there are there is uh, Maxima dark pollen 
that's going to be uh, up for grabs if anybody wants it. That's an upper. Quite a really nice plant actually. The uh, the lowers are really nice. Um, Lario ventricosa. Look at that for a picture. I know the common as muck, but come on. Wow. Uh, big fans just kicking in. All right, let's move across because we're waffling. Uh, these are all seedlings. We've got here AMA JB, uh, cross Song of Melancholy, cross Lowio VGI, cross Bosciana. Um, these are all carnivora. And at the back there, we've got Truncata, cross Campanulata, uh, cross VGI the Wave, cross Song of Melancholy, cross Clipiata. That's that one there. And the one next to it. No, that's AMA. Uh, that's a little. Uh, Basil off a Truncata uh, Red Flush, Truncata D Red Flush from EP. Um, that'll be going on eBay anytime now. <coughs> Argentioi, lots of Argentioi. Uh, Velosa, Velosa are doing well, doing really well. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm very happy with them. I'm just giving them a little bit extra humidity. Uh, Roger Babedi, one of two. There's another one below it. That's doing well. Uh, Sumagaya. I uh, I decided to cut it because it was uh, it was it was forked there, so I've got two coming up. So I've chopped one. Uh, turn it into a cutting and since doing so this has put out a new leaf it was in stasis but it's, uh, it's put out a new leaf straight away really chuffed with that uh, let's have a sit down while we look at the seeds um, the, mar the mortar crosses up the corner are all uh, present and correct they're all happy uh, I Separated a load of these the other day and took out the biggest ones. And I've still got all these left. These are Sung and Melancholy Cross. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Bosciana, Babigia. Uh, pretty complex cross. Singalana. All these are doing okay. All the trunk are there from uh, Carnivora. I'm just going to fly over the seedlings. You've seen them all before. Um, helium forward down the bottom. They're really getting it on now. Lots of nice reds, pinks, and greens. They're loving the night time drop out here. We're down to, uh, last night we were down to 11.9 C. So it's, they're loving it. The, uh, the Helium 4 are really digging that. Um, they love that night time drop. You'll probably notice I've also added a tank to see if it makes any difference to the growing. And I have to say, uh, so far, I think it has. Um, everything in there seems to have perked up, picked up. Uh, especially the Brachinia at the back. Uh, the Brachinias are really going for it. And like some of these, um, these pictures are just appearing from nowhere all of a sudden. I know that's impossible, but uh, it just seems that way. <laughs> when you've got so many plants in uh, in a room, you always miss something. But yeah, I think that's uh, that has made a difference so much so. I think I'll get another tank and do the same under this shelf here with the others. 
it just it just raises that humidity ever so slightly. Uh, one fan goes off, another fan comes on, and the humidifier. So I've got to hurry up now because it's going to get very cloudy in here in a minute. Okay, so um, the macrofilla have been repotted in Akadama and pumice. Um, they were in sphagnum and I unpotted them and al although they've got quite a decent root system for a small plant, uh, the ones at the back that have been in Akadama for a while have got a huge root system bigger than the ones in moss so I've gone over to Akadama with them. Uh, new additions here we've got uh, Mikeyi great little plant um, Densiflora uh, we've got Roger Aime there uh, we've got Truncata Aristocloides, I believe it is, over there, and what we got here, uh, Spatulata loeoi, great plant, been after one of them for a while. Moving across, um, I'm testing a new substrate, this is cocoa husk, cocoa chips, um, I'm interested to see uh, what it's like. I love the feel of it. Um, straight from the off, it feels amazing. Uh, and I can imagine that the roots are gonna love that because there just seems to be so many uh, air pockets and voids to uh, to hold air. I think we're gonna do good things. Somebody asked me in the last video uh, about the um, Spectabilis Velosa and uh, said keep me posted on the growth etc well this is the growth it's going like the clappers uh, the green leaf is a new leaf it's just put out it's working on another one um, this thing is vigorous <laughs> uh, no lie and i think it's going to be nice it's going to be a nice little uh, addition to the collection so there we go Another one that's uh, really going for it, Sumatrana. This thing is just off the scale. I swear, I can watch it grow. It's, it's, this thing's doing like millimetres a day. Um, it is a machine and it's supposed to be a lowlander. It's growing in highland conditions, not even warm by any stretch of the imagination. Average of 23C a day in here. 23, 24C, uh, and night time drops to uh, 11. It should be hating it, and it's uh, it's loving it. Uh, not much movement on the uh, Azumi Edwards yet, albeit this picture hasn't died off this time, so we've got further than last time, hopefully. Uh, I've moved all the Diabolica up here. Um, they weren't drying out enough down at the bottom and I've, uh, I've lost two to root rot. And if there's one thing I've found out about Diabolica, they like it dry. They don't like wet at all and they go downhill quite quickly. Um, I mean, the medium was, was moss, that probably didn't help, but there was perlite in it. Um, so it shouldn't really have been holding a lot of water, but you can see when they're sickly, they kind of, they take on a bit of a, a spotty hue. Um, but these, these ones are all rooted and these ones are all doing okay. So fingers crossed, we'll keep them up here where it's drier and dry them out a little and see how they go from here. It might be a tad warm up here for them, but we'll see. Um, no such trouble with the lowy oil towards you, Anna. That is just putting out a decent size picture it's going to be bigger than the last and the last one was uh, was beautiful really toothy great loving that so by the next video that 
picture should be uh, fully open. Tentaculata, one of my favourites. It's a gift that keeps giving this plant. It just, it never gets old. I love it. Um, one of my other favourites. Oh God, this plant is so sticky. Glandulifera. Oh, it's just awesome, awesome plant. Don't ask me why. I don't know. It's a sticky mess, but uh, I have been in the past. Um, I just love it. I think it's a fantastic plant. Very underrated. Uh, Mariliana, Sib Mariliana has been repotted and is putting out a uh, another rugby ball. Not the not the biggest yet, but uh, it's working on it. So she's had a new uh, a new pot. Um, tried the cocoa husk in the uh, Black Miracle and Pilera Black Miracle. See what she thinks of it. In here we've got uh, this top off. It's divided by a bamboo skewer in the middle here somewhere. So from here up are all MAJB cross uh, Song of Melancholy, cross the wave, cross something else. And all these down here that you can just see are Vichioi Barrio squat. Now Vichioi Barrio cross Vichioi M squat. Uh, I nearly lost these, but put them in pure live sphagnum, and lo and behold, they've started to come back. Um, and they are uh, they're bouncing back. Happy days. Uh, a little bird there. What else we got? Moving over to. Old Vichy uh, Bird there. I don't know if that's going to be a nice striped picture. That's been repotted. Nice deep pot. That was uh, pot bound. Let's move him across out of the way so we can see down here. Uh, Trusmardiensis, Trusmardiensis, Trusmardiensis. Uh, Sib ventricosa. These are all VGI crosses of some descriptions. Anything of interest down here? Oh, the uh, the Roger of Arta is going like the clappers. That thing is uh, is really loving life. It's going really well. Really chuffed with that. New addition. Tentaculata lowei or lowei tentaculata, beautiful plant. Uh, luckily for us, the fans have kicked in and are keeping the uh, keeping this the fog down. Uh, these are all Naga Bongzo, Caranculata. And this, uh, those are, let me think, let me think, I'll tell you, Paloanensis. They're supposed to be Paloanensis straight, but uh, it looks like they're Paloanensis cross Philippinensis. But we'll see when they when they pitch for real. Uh, the little bog's doing well. Everything's, uh, everything's coming along nicely in there. Even got a little flower. I bought the Cooper Eye in here. So happy of Cooper Eye. Wasn't liking it in the house. Um, wasn't digging it at all. It's been out here about four days, five days, and it's already putting out that, putting out that, putting out that one. And there's two or three more in there opening up. So uh, it's rewarding me with leaves. <laughs> uh, we got down here. Same old suspects down here. Mm. 
Do, 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 do. Uh, the bags are cuttings of various descriptions. You'll know more when they start to root. I shall uh, disclose all if they root. Okay, moving across. Oh, I told you it was going to get steamy in here. Moving across. Uh, Look at that, beautiful. A big, big old robber bidget there. Uh, Platy Burb, again doing well. Ah, new, uh, new edition, two new editions here. First here we've got uh, Eustacia Tenuous, a gorgeous striped uh, version, lovely little plant. Uh, right next to it, we've got a uh, Gymnophora Dark. Again, a cracking little plant. Uh, Hamata, all the Hamata have been moved up here. They, I don't think they were digging it down there, so they've all been moved up here. Um, I think they prefer it up here with a bit of shade. And it's a bit closer to the door where it's a bit cooler as well. Um, I don't know if this was out the last time we uh, the last time we spoke. This is a uh, this is the mother plant of that little cutting that I showed you down there, the Truncata D from EP. Beautiful, look at that, cracking picture. Fair bit of weight in there as well. Uh, I've took a basil off the mammoth, a big old basil. So there'll be one of them going soon. And everything at the back here is uh, just starting. The, these are all, um, apart from the Rob, which is proud another picture. Go on, Rob. We love you, Rob. Uh, apart from the Rob. The rest are all from the BE and the obviously the trunk Uh The rest are all from the BE import, so they're just getting over jet lag, cold damage, um, sea sickness, air sickness, and um, whatever else. But they are all putting out new leaves, so they're just coming out of stasis, which I'm really happy about. Um, right, well, I've waffled on for 40 minutes, believe it or not. Oh, hang on. Here are those uh, seedlings I was talking about earlier that I separated. Um, these are the uh, Sunga Melancholy Cross something, Cross something, Cross something, Cross Bosciana, Cross Baby J. Uh, they're growing really well. Atamburii. Okay, so yeah, we've uh, we've waffled on for 43 minutes now. Um, I'm going to uh, take this in the house and uh, get my son to edit it, because that's where he's got a degree in, and see if we can make a decent video out of it. Um, got any questions, anything you'd like to ask, um, reference substrate, media, Temperatures, lights, uh, there are 15 of them in here. Um, feel free to uh, ask in the comments. Um, you can find me on Facebook, Andy Kitson, K-I-T-S-O-N. Uh, I am on Instagram as well. Uh, but if you find me on Facebook, I can't remember what my Instagram name is. I've also got a YouTube channel, obviously, which you, uh, you'll be watching this on. But um, if you want to reach out and ask... Any questions, feel free to do so. I'm a, I'm a friendly guy, and if I can help you, I will. Um, and if I don't know the uh, the answer, I'm sure I know somebody who does. So, uh, there you go. That is update for January 2024. I'd like to have... Uh, carried on and in fact i could have carried on i can waffle all night me uh but as i said it's 45 minutes long now so uh we'll call it a day and uh i'll speak to you soon
have a good night please uh, like subscribe share thank you